Dream with the Fishes is another independent American film with a skewed view of life. Terry David Arquette is just about to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge when stranger Nick Brad Hunt offers him a meter out, pills, which turn out to be vitamins. The odyssey which results from the meeting between the two men is based on Terry believing he wants to die because his wife was killed in a car crash and Nick facing certain death from leukaemia in just a few weeks' time. Terry agrees to go along with Nick as he plays out his final fantasies. I mean, you must have wished for something, huh? I mean, when you were a kid, were you able to fly? Oh. Something. When I was a kid, I don't know. I remember wishing I could have all the cracker smacks I could eat. Cracker smacks? Yeah. Well, they're good. <laughs> they have little prizes. No. No, that's OK. Well, you know, for me, though, it wasn't Cracker Smacks. What? No. Forget it. Here's the money. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Well, at times, the film seems like a revisitation of the 70s as the two men space out on LSD and indulge themselves. Gradually, the real basis of their friendship becomes a balance between the absurd and the tragic, and you're in there with them. David Arquette's nerdy, twitchy performance is a trifle distracting at first, but then you get used to him. Brad Hunt plays the loose cannon that is Nick with a clever edge. Catherine Erb is Nick's tattooing girlfriend, and Kathy Moriarty, looking terribly healthy, plays his aunt, a former stripper. J.E. Freeman adds depth to the saga as Nick's father. The film is the work of writer-director Finn Taylor, his first as director, and he's let the movie focus on what it's all about, his characters. Ultimately, Dream with the Fishes is quite a moving but perplexing film, didn't you think, David? Well, I can't say I was perplexed, but I found it really quite an interesting film. Uh, I, I liked the visual style of it, the very harsh lighting and processing of the early scenes and then gradually mellowing into more normal colour variations. I, I thought the characters were all interesting. I liked, yeah. I, I liked the two principal characters really quite a lot. Um, it took me off into some slightly unexpected areas, although there were some conventional elements about it too, especially, I guess, towards the end. And uh, again, uh, like suburbia, it's a little bit tricky at times too, I think. But it's, uh, what, tricky, perplexing. I, I sort of thought... Contrived, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. Mm. What's your score for I'll this? I'll give it three and a half. I think I'm giving it three. That happened to me. Someone died? No. Some women. You sleep with them once, they got you by the for life. You gotta let go of them. It's the only way, you mother... It's the only way, Terry. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Son of a bitch. You're gonna thank me for this. 